but no, oh, on here. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد. We got a bit of a late start, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to finish the entire hadith. However, if we don't finish it, inshallah, perhaps we'll pick it up at a at a later date. A hadith. عن سحيب رضي الله تعالى عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال كان ملك في من كان قبلكم وكان له ساحر. so first we're going to start off we're going through باب الصلاة the chapter of patience. this is something that every human being, especially a Muslim, we should try to exercise. none of us are perfect. There are going to be times when you're not um, exercising acts of patience, as we want to find here in this hadith. And then we also want to find times where patience were, it was implemented. So in this hadith, the man, he said, <clears throat> So the Prophet, Ali, salatu he's telling a story <clears throat> about what happened before the time of the Sahaba. So he said, Kana, Kana Malakun Fiman Kablakum. There was a king that was around before you, meaning before the time that we're in now. Wa Kana Lahu Sahirun. And this king, he had a magician with him. So during that time there was a king, and the king had with him a, a magician. Falamma kabira qala li malaki inni qad kabirtu. فَبْحَثْ إِلَيَّ غُلَامًا أُعَلِّمُهُ السِّحْرًا So the magician, he said to the king, I'm getting old in age. I'm getting old in age, so send for a child that I can teach him the magic that I know. فَبْعَثَ إِلَيْهِ غُلَامًا يُعَلِّمُهُ So they sent to him a child that can learn under him to be a student of the sahir, to be a student of the magician. وَكَانَ فِي طَرِيقِهِ إِذَا سَلَقَ رَاهِبٌ And while the child would go to study under the magician, he found a slave, a worshiper of Allah. He was called the Rahib. And as he would go to study with the, the magician, فَقَعْدَ إِلَيْهِ وَسَمْيَ كَلَامَهُ فَأَعْجَبَهُ so one day, while he was going to study with the magician, he came across the slave or the worshiper. And when he found the worshiper, he sat with him and he listened to his speech. And he was amazed by it. He sat with the worshiper, he listened to his speech, and he was amazed by it. To the point, that whenever he would go study with the magician or the sahir, he would stop along the way and study with the, with the worshiper. So in other words, while he's going to class to sit with the magician, he would stop off before he gets there to study with the worshiper, the one who worshiped Allah. 
فإذا أتى الساحر ضربه وشكى ذلك إلى راهب فقال إذا خشيت الساحر فقل حبسني أهلي وإذا خشيت الأهلك إذا خشيت أهلك فقل حبسني الساحر الساحر. And so the Prophet ﷺ, he continued to narrate the story. He said, فَإِذَا أَتَى أَسَّاحِرًا So when he would go to the, the magician, he would get there late. Because the magician was waiting for him to come. And when he would get there late, the magician would beat him. He would hit him. Why would he hit him? Because he came to class late. He came to class late, so he would hit him. Right? فَشَكَ ذَلِكَ إِلَى رَاهِ So he complained to the worshiper. He said, listen, every time I come to the magician late from leaving you, he hits me. So the worshiper said to him, he said, listen, if you're fearful of being harmed by the magician, then say to him, your family held you up at home. And if your family complains to you and say, why are you coming home late? Say you were held up by the, by the magician. Another word to cover them from what? From both sides. So the Prophet ﷺ said, He said, فَبَيْنَمَا هُوَ عَلَى ذَلِكَ إِذْ أَتَى عَلَى دَابَةً عَظِيمَةً قَدْ حَبَسَتَ النَّاسِ And so he said, the boy was on this path for quite some time until all of a sudden there was a huge animal that came out of nowhere in the town and the village. And he was terrorizing the people. فَقَالَ اليوم. So the boy, meaning, when this animal came out, and then you look through the different books of Hadith, it doesn't explain what type of animal it was. But it's so, the animal was so big, so massive, that the people were afraid. People were fearful of their life. <clears throat> so the boy said, فَقَالَ اليوم أَعْلَمُ أَسَّاحِرُ أَفْضَلُ عَمِرْ رَاهِبِ أَفْضَلُ So the boy, he said, today, I'm going to find out for sure who's better. That what I learned from the, the worshiper or the magic that I learned from the magician. I'm going to see who's the best because he wants to deal with this animal. So he said, I'm going to figure out whose knowledge is the best. He said, فَأَخَذَ هَجَرًا فَقَالَ اللَّهُمَّ إِنْ, إن كَانَ أَمْرُ رَاحِبِ أَحَبَّ إِلَيْكِ مِنْ أَمْرِ السَّاحِرِ فَقْتُلْ هَذِهِ الدَّابَةِ so he said, <clears throat> he said, so I picked up a brick. I picked up a brick. And I said, oh Allah, if the affair of the worshiper is more beloved to you than the affair of the magician, then kill this animal so that the people can go. Because the animal was holding people hostage, if you will. He said, then kill this animal and let the people go. And so, فَرَمَاهَا فَقَتَلَهَا وَمَضَى الناس. And so he threw the brick at the animal, and the animal died, and the people became free. After that, <coughs> the, <coughs> the boy became famous. The boy became what? Famous. The people started looking to him now. He says, So he went back to the worshiper and he explained to him what happened. He explained to him what happened. So the Rahib, the worshiper, he said to him, So now, when he told the worshiper what happened when he told the worshiper what happened he said to him Bunei, my boy and tell yom you today are better than me the worshiper said to the boy today you are better than me he said you have reached an affair that i can see he says so he gave him some advice now he says, Inna You're going to be tested. From here on out, you will be tested. Fa'inibtulit. He said, and if you're tested, فَلَا Then don't tell people about me. So now the worshiper is saying, 
You reach the level in your belief in Allah that, means, that makes you better than me. And you're going to be tested. So when that test comes, do not point the people to me. Leave me out of it. In other words, he didn't know he didn't want any parts of it. Does that make sense? Huh? Like, so he said, فَكَانَ غُلَامُ يُبْرِئُ لَا أَكْمَى وَالْأَبْرَسْ وَيُدَاوِيَ النَّاسِ مِنْ سَائِرَ الْأَدْوَى So the boy, he began to make dua and cure the blind and the deaf. And he would, you know, based on his dua, he would be cured from all types of sicknesses. He says, فَسَمِعَ جَلِيسُ لِي مَلَكٍ كَانَ قَدْ عَمِيَا So while this boy was doing all of this through the town, the king, he had a friend, a close friend of his, the king. And a close friend of the king was blind. The close friend of the king was blind. So while the friend of the king was blind, he heard about this boy. He says, فَأَتَّاهُ بِهَدَايَ كَثِيرًا فَقَالَ مَا هَا هُنَا لَكَ أَجْمَعُ مَا إِنْ أَنْتَ شَفَيْتَنِي So he gathered up all types of gifts for the boy. And he said, all of this is for you if you can cure me. He went to the boy and said, all of this is for you if you can cure me. I need, if, you can grant, if you can help me or give me back my vision. So the boy said, فَقَالَ إِنِّي لَا أَشْفِي أَحَدًا إِنَّ مَا يَشْفِي اللَّهِ He said, I can't cure anyone. For indeed, the one that cures is Allah. So the boy said, فَإِنْ آمَنْتَ بِاللَّهِ دَعَوْتُ اللَّهَ فشفاك. He said, if you believe in Allah, then I will call on Allah and that Allah will cure you. So the man, for the man, amana billah. So the man, meaning the friend of the king, he believed in Allah. فَآمَنَ بِاللَّهِ تَعَالَى فَشَفَاهُ Allah. So Allah cured him. He believed in Allah and Allah cured the friend of the king who was blind, right? So we have a king. The king had a friend, his friend was blind, he heard about the boy. And mind you, the king didn't really have any knowledge of the boy and what's going on yet. So he went to the, the boy, the, the blind, the friend of the king who was blind, meaning the blind friend of the king, he went to the boy, he asked the boy, he gave the boy gifts and asked him to cure him. He said, I can't cure you, only Allah cures. You have to believe in Allah and I will make dua for you that Allah will cure you. The man believed in Allah. The boy made the wa to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah cured him. He says, فَآمَنَ بِاللَّهِ تَعَالَ فَشَفَاهُ طيب. So now the man, now he can see. فَآتَى malik. So he went to his friend who was the king. فَجَلَسَ إِلَيْهِ كَمَا كَانَ يَجْلِسُ So he sat with the king the way he usually would sit with the king. فَقَالَ لَهُ الْمَلِكْ So the king said to him, who returned the revision back to you? How can you see now? Call the Rabbi. So the friend he said, Rabbi, meaning my Lord did it. Call Rabbun Lady. So the king said, Are you telling me you have a Lord besides me? And tell me, pay attention. The king said to his friend, So you're telling me you have a king besides me? So the friend said, Rabbi wa Rabbu. He's my Lord and your Lord. It's not just my Lord, he's my Lord and your Lord. So the king grabbed him and he began to punish him, beat him, harm him, up until the point where he told him the boy was the one who helped him. So they brought the galam or the boy to the king. So the king said to him. So the king said to him. So the king said, Oh my boy, I heard that with your magic you can cure the blind and deaf. And you do this, that, and the next. So the boy said, فَقَالَ إِنِّي لَا أَشْفِي أَحَدًا He said, I don't cure anyone. إِنَّمَا يَشْفِي اللَّهِ 
For indeed, the one that cures is Allah. فَأَخْذَهُ فَلَمْ يَزَلْ يُعَذِّبَهُ حَتَّى دَلَّ عَلَى رَاحِبِي So he beat the boy, he punished the boy so much until he pointed him out to the, to the worshiper. What did the worshiper say before? Huh? Don't involve me. So here the earlier that I mentioned, in this case here in this part, the boy could, didn't have enough patience. So what did he do? He snitched, huh? <laughs> he said he snitched. He told on the worshiper, right? Thank you. So what happened next? <clears throat> it said, فَأَخَذَهُ فَلَمْ يَزِلْ حَتَّى So he took him to the, to the worshiper. فَجِئَ بِالْرَاهِبِ فَقِيلَ لَا So he brought, they brought the worshiper forward. So the king said to him, إِرْجَعْ عَنْ دِينِ He said, return off what you believe. Leave off what you believe. Leave off the deen that you believe. Fa'aba. So the man, the worshiper, refused. So the king said, okay. Fada'a bil mincha. So the king told his people, come bring me a saw. You know what a saw is, right? You know what a saw is, right? Yeah, a saw. Right. So he told his people to bring forth a saw. So he brought a saw. For wudi amin saw amin shar fi mar fi mafriqi ratsihi. So they took the saw. They put it in the middle of his head. They put the saw in the middle of his head. For shakka for shakka who be had to walk a ashikahu. And they began to saw away to the worshiper. To the point, as he explains in the explanation of the hadith. They cut the man in half until he fell into two parts. From the top of his head all the way down to the bottom. They split him in half and he died. So now after the king killed the worshiper, he called his friend back. And maybe he killed the worshiper first to let his friend know like this can happen to you. So he brought his friend back. He told him, <clears throat> He told his friend, Irjan Dinik. He said, Leave off that which you believe. And the friend Abba, the friend, his own friend, he refused. Farudi al Minshar, fi Mafraki Ratsi, for Shakahu, be he had to walk out Shakahu. And he did the same thing to his friend. He put the saw in the middle of his head and began to saw until he killed him and cut his body in half. You have enough time to finish? Charles. Right. And now he brought forth the boy. He told the boy, leave off your deen. And the boy refused. But he didn't cut the boy in half. He said, they took the boy. He didn't cut him in half. They said, we're going to take this boy and take him up in the mountain, the highest part of the mountain. And when we get up there, we're going to tell him to leave off his deen. If he leaves off his deen, cool. If he stays on what he believes, then we're going to throw him from the top of the mountain. He says, فَذَهَبُوا بِهِ فَصَعِدُوا بِهِ الْجَبَلَ So they all went with him and took him to the top of the mountain. These are the king's friends, some of his people. So the boy, فَقَالَ اللَّهُمَّ اكْفِينِي بِمَا شِئْتْ فَرَجَفَ بِهِمَ الْجَبَلَ فَسَقَطُوا So the boy, he made a dua. He said, Oh Allah, suffice me with whatever you will. He said, oh Allah, suffice me with whatever you will. So the mountain began to shake, and the men fell off and died except for the boy. After this happened, after this happened, it says, وَجَاءَ يَمْشِي إِلَى The boy came back down from the mountain and went back to the king. 